What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, you guys already know the deal. We are hopping back, doing some casual battles, showcasing the new Isle of Armor Pokemon. We got Volcarona and Skull P team today, which looks amazing. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are the best. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on this channel. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Randy. Randy, thank you so much for sending in this team. This looks so good. You got the Volcarona, the Sculpey, and the Sand Slash. Three new Isle of Armor Pokemon, which I have not showed off yet. If you guys want to send me teams, head in that link in the description below. Jeans underscore YouTube over on Instagram. DM me over there. That is the best way to actually send me teams. So go over there, DM me, send me the code, all that good stuff, or just send me a picture of the team. But rock it out on this team. In the front spot, we got Volcarona. This thing is an absolute beast. Bug and Fire type with Bug Buzz, Giga Dream for coverage heat wave and quiver dance oh my god i cannot wait to set up quiver dance as it boosts my special defense my special attack and my speed it has flame body as its ability and life orb as its item let's get it yo we got skull p this thing's an absolute beast with the extra bells and speed boost so at the end of every single turn we get plus one speed which is going to be amazing bug and poison type with mega horn poison jab eq and sword dance to boost our big physical attack then behind my face cam we got tokus tokus is going to come up so clutch considering we have Three setup Pokemon with the Sand Slash. I'll go over to Sand Slash right now, actually, with X Scissor, Swords Dance, Stone Edge, EQ, Sand Rush, which is going to be nice to pair up with that T Tar and that Muscle Band. But we have three setup Pokemon with Quiver Dance, Swords Dance, and another Swords Dance. So Tokus will be awesome for the following to distract while we set up with the other Pokemon. Normal move set with the Tokus with Air Slash. Dazzling Gleam, Heat Wave, and then follow me, like I said, with Super Luck and that Scope 1 to get a high critical chance. We got Grim Snarl. I love this Grim Snarl set right here. T Wave because Speed Control, Screens because Screens are the best. Everyone loves Screens and Spirit Break. And then in the final spot that pairs well with the Sand Slash is going to be the Sand Stream T Tar with Super Power Protect, Rock Slide, and Crunch. Also holding that weakness policy. And you guys already know if you trigger that thing, it's pretty much over. T Tar will absolutely run everything. If you guys want to try out this team for yourself, Method Code is at the bottom of the screen. Oh my god, like I'm looking at this team again and this team just looks so appealing i don't know something about it something about the sculpey and the vocal runner is just really catching my eye and i'm ready to absolutely dominate with them but without further ado let's hop onto that casual ladder and try to get some wins with this sculpey vocal runner team Check this out, guys. Battle number one, we're going up against a Palisand team with Crocodile and Lycanroc. I always want to show off Palisand, so if somebody's going to make me a team, make me a Palisand team. I'll actually go over a list of Pokemon I really want to see or use. I'm going to use Tangrowth, Licky Licky, uh, who else is there? Like the Sinnoh Evolutions that we haven't used yet. So Licky Licky, Tangrowth, I want to see Palisand, Zoro. Who else there? Porygon Z is definitely on top of the list. Pokemon like that, I definitely want to show off because I haven't even gotten the chance to look at a team or show them off. But here we go. First battle, he has My Shao, Palisand, Rancy Surge, Real Boom, if I had to guess, Chandelure for that Trick Room or to prevent Trick Room, Crocodile, Kru and uh, Lycanroc. Okay. Um, I think I just want to go into my boy. I think I want to go Volcarona and start setting up Quiver Dances. I think I want to go here, here, and then here, and then maybe Skullpeed in that back end. I think Skullpeed could be clutch. Well, let me check something real quick. Let me check this thing's stats. 180 speed. Bro, and it's shiny. He looks amazing. He's coming in. Let's go, Skullpeed. Oh, my lord. Yo, shiny Skullpeed looks amazing. You see those colors? He's so fast, too. Give him one speed boost. He can probably almost outspeed a Dragapult, which is awesome. Which is awesome. But, yo, let's get going. If you guys want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. I usually stream three to four plus days every single week. I've been slowing down, trying to focus on YouTube, but you guys already know the content will be uh, pushing back very, very soon. So hit that follow button and turn on those notifications. But I shall is probably going to fake out. That's probably an obvious thing. Um, hmm. I wish I could protect right now. Or I could just Dynamax straight up. I could Dynamax straight up here. Which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of Dynamaxing straight up and just going into a uh, Heat Wave. Hmm. No, I'm just going for the Quiver Dance. Screw it, man. We're going for Quiver Dance. We're going for that Follow Me. Let's get it. Let's get it. Follow Me coming out here. And I want you guys to know that uh, Pokemon content isn't my, like, normal thing for this channel. I wouldn't say normal thing. Like, we've been playing it a lot lately because it has been the most relevant in the Nintendo community. But I'm actually just, like, a Nintendo channel. So when more games come out, like Paper Mario or Gami King, I'm going to be doing a playthrough on that. Or when the new Marios come out or any other Nintendo game that does come out, I will be showcasing it on this channel. And, jeez, he gets a critical hit on that fake out. Well, Corona does not eat that well. We go for that follow me. We're going to soak up a shot. Um, do I still Quiver Dance and then roll out from there? Let's see. We flinch. Couldn't move. And Sword Dance is coming out here. Which is looking a little scary. It's looking a little scary. I still want a Quiver Dance. I knew I should have Dynamax out Volcarona there. 
But I still kind of want a quiver dance here. Do I even want a quiver dance? Yeah, yo, I'm actually I'm going for the quiver dance. I'm quiver dancing and I'm going for that follow me. If Tokus goes down here, we'll definitely be able to outspeed next turn. Get a skull peed out there and dynamax him. His Volcarona is already tapped up a little bit. I'm kind of scared to see what happens. I'm kind of scared to see what happens. But yo, let me know in the comment section down below what games are you guys most hyped for to come out for Nintendo. Whether it's like Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Snap, uh, Paper Mario Origami King, or the leaked games that are supposed to be like uh, Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Galaxy, or Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, all them. I think those are games I'm most hyped for. Or Breath of the Wild too. I'm going to be doing like all those games on my channel, so stay tuned. Hopefully you guys do enjoy all the Nintendo content I have to bring. But like I said, I've just been playing Pokemon a lot. Uh, I'm glad you guys have been enjoying it, but it's just been so relevant because no other new games have come out. So I've just been grinding on Pokemon, having a blast with it. It's been so much fun. But we're setting up a Quib Dance right here. Nice little Quiver Dance. Get a Bulk Runner. This thing's so good. Bulk Runner is so good. Special Defense Boost, Speed Boost, and Max Airstream's going to come through. And that's not Stab. That is not Stab. So Focus will eat that up even though it's plus two, which is just lovely. And they're going to get a Speed Boost as well. But I still feel like my Volcarona Runner should be able to outspeed. And now he goes for a knockoff. And that's going to take out my Tokus. Actually, it does not, yo. That is lovely. That is lovely. It does not take out my Tokus. So I can actually soak up another shot from the, uh, what's it called? From the, actually, we, we'll probably take out the Rillaboom here. But we can soak up another shot from this, uh, my shell here. Because my shell is going to go, well, my, what's it called is going to go first. My Volcarona Runner is going to go first. Probably take out that Rillaboom. My shell is going to take out my Tokus. And then we get out Skullpeed. And all from there. So, yes, sir, yo, let's get it, yo. Let's get it. I cannot wait. As this video goes live, Ranked is ready to go, but I'm doing it one day before. <gasps> this thing crazy glided. You hunk of junk. Never mind. Volcarona probably going to go down here to an airstream. E! E! I forgot about Gra Gracie Glide. He wave comes out. And oh my lord, Volcarona. Get some burns. Get some burn burns off. Oh my lord, Volcarona, relax. Relax, girlfriend. Some heaping amount of damage for you right there. That's a big amount of damage, but okay. This guy, this uh, my shell is pretty much set up here. He's pretty much set up. I'm gonna have to uh, set up screens, or I can T wave him and take it out with the Skull Peep, which I think I'm going to do. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. It's plus two, and then uh, plus uh, two speed and plus two attack. A little scary, but let's get out the boys. I can still Dynamax him. Dude, Volker Run, I'm surprised you didn't take out that Robo Man. Did that much damage to the my shell? Like, jeez, man, relax, Volker Runner. Relax, that thing's so good. That thing's so good. This guy didn't have fake out, we would have been running things. But yo, here goes my boy Skull Pete. He looks amazing. He looks phenomenal. Uh definitely I think we gotta go for that Thunder Wave here. Slow you down. And then I wish I had a double hit move. I do, but I don't think it's gonna take out. I am actually going to Dynamax and I'm going to Max Ooze and get that special we're not even special attack, we're physical. There's no point. So I think I'm just gonna lower their stuff. Or I could sword dance. No, I got. I got to get rid of this. Uh, I got to get rid of this. Uh, my shell. I really do. So I'm just gonna go for this max quake. Take that thing out and get that uh, special defense boost. Let's get it, Skull P. Let's get it, big dog. Big dog coming up here. Yeah, I was gonna go for the max boost, but I was just like, yo, I'm physical attacking. There's no point in going into a uh, into a max boost if we're not boosting our attack stats. But let's get it. He looks so sick. He looks so good. I'm a big fan of this. I cannot wait for Crown Tundra to come out and give us even more Pokemon. It's going to be phenomenal. Like Dragon Knight and Garchomp, I cannot wait to show them off. He's going to go for a Grassy Glide. That's totally fine by me. And hit me. That's cool. And we're going to go for a T-Wave. Bop. Get that Bopo off. Paralyze him. Slow him down. That's our main concern. And then my Sculpey now outspeeds. And we're coming in hot with a Max Quake. If I can take it out here, we'll be chilling. We'll be chilling. Get it out of here. Get going. There we go. Get that special defense boost. Get it, Skull P. We coming in hot now. We coming in hot. And I can lower a uh, special attack with a max flutter by. Which is going to be lovely. Which is going to be lovely. Now I just need to set up screens and do my thing. I got to set up screens and do my thing. Let's get it. I'm hoping we got this one. I'm hoping we got this one. If I can get rid of Rillaboom here. I'm trying to think of how I should play this one. I guess I got to see his Pokemon first. We do get the speed boost, which is lovely. Look at that. Now we're faster. Now we're just speeds up. Gotta watch out for that uh, first turn priority grassy glide. Do I even worry about that real boom? I want to, but at the same time, I might just set up a reflect. If he sends out a physical attacker, I'm setting up that reflect and I'm getting after the other guy. Let's see. What you got, fool? Who you gonna play? Who you gonna play? He wasn't expecting big Skull Pete to come out the back end. <laughs> But dude, that fake out kind of uh, set him up perfectly because my Vol Volcarona was going to run that match if he didn't have fake out. He didn't have it. Ooh. 
Oh my lord. It was like rock, so yes, we are definitely setting up that reflect. And we're gonna get after this. We're gonna get after this. I do have Max Quake again. Go reflect. Do that. And uh Flutterby is just dominating here. Actually, use this work. Oh my lord. Look at all these super effective things. Um, I kinda would rather just go for a uh this right here. Leave that roll boom. Go for another grassy guy, that's totally fine. The grassy shirt should be ending soon, so I shouldn't really worry about it too, too much. I'm gonna just keep getting these speed boosts and uh, these special defense boosts. So hopefully the last Pokemon could be a uh, special attacking, because then I can set up the light screen. I can be plus two. We'll be looking good. But I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if this Lightning Rock is Focus Ash. Not gonna lie. Let's see. Let's see what you got, fool. Make a move. Grassy Glide again, obviously. We eat, and then my Reflect gets up here. Yes, sir. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> Set that screen up. So now we're going to be nice, big, bulky. And then I'm going to outspeed, and the Quake's coming in hot. The Quake is coming in hot. Come on, show me this thing's not Focus Ash. Let's see it. No, it's not, yo. Let's get it. Let's go, people. Let's go. Grassy Terrain should be gone soon. So, uh, Grassy Glide will not work without that terrain. And we get that special defense boost, and we're getting another speed boost from our ability. It's going to be lovely. Like, I'm not afraid of this roll boom. I know I'll speed it once this terrain's done. And then I'll be able to just, uh, yeah, there it goes. Terrain's done. So I can outspeed it now with my, uh, skull speed. But I think I'm just going to focus on the next Pokemon and go for a light screen if it's special attacking. If not, I'm going to paralyze something. I want to paralyze something. Yo, your boy made the right calls. I was going to Dynamax Volcarona in turn one, but I was like, nah, let's save this for the skull speed. Let's uh, wait this one out. And he goes into Shandalore, who this is going to be the Focus Ash Pokemon. This is definitely the Focus Ash Pokemon. Hundo Percento. Hundo Percento. And I think I'm going to set up a light stream. If I can't get it off, which I should be able to. And I can just go for anything. This thing's not levitate, right? What's it learn? It learns clear. No. Oh. We should be able to go after that. We got Ooze. We got Flutterby. We got all this good stuff. I'm just going to go for a quick. I don't think. No. This thing cannot learn levitate. It's not level three. It learns Flame Body and uh, doesn't learn Curse Body. But Light Screen gets set up. Now we're plus two and our special defense is through the roof. We're going to be plus three on special defense and with the Light Screen. So, like, Shannon Lord, you stand no chance, even if you are Focus Ash. Get it out. Get it going. No Focus Ash. Yo, Skull would be coming up clutch this battle. Yo, GG. This is going to be game. We got a crit, even though he was dead anyway. We got that Expert Belt, and it was super effective. So, bigger damage. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Jeez. 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 Let's get it, yo. We piecing off this first battle. We piecing off. I thought I played this one very, very well. Grassy Glide does not kill us due to the uh, the reflect setup. And man, yo, we played this one too good, too good. He had a Sword Stance plus two My Shout, and we counter that. We counter that. Let's get it. Skull Pete's gonna come out here and finish this one off. Uh, we will not have first turn priority. So I'll just go to that, and then I'm gonna show up. Is Megahorn one hit KO? Do I go for this? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna try to land a Mega Horn. <laughs> Even though I can, like, almost guarantee with the Poison Jab, but still. Mega Horn comes out. Oh, it does land. Let's get it. Ew! Ew, it looks so sick. That looks so sick, but yo, GG, this guy 1 0 to get started with this video. Beautiful. We're gonna hop into battle number two and try to get a win streak rolling with this Skull Pete and Volcarona team. Who's next? Who do we have next? I want to try to get a win streak rolling. We're going up against this guy with the Zorora team right here. And it could be the new Shiny Zorora because I believe it is out. If you uh, participated in the little event, you get a free Shiny Zorora with Leafeon, Lapras, Dragapult, Labiro, Cinderace, and Urshifu. I kind of want to go for that Quiver Dance again. I feel like that can work so, so well. And then bring in, uh, go same team. We might go same team or we can go Sandrush. Sandrush could work out very, very well here. Hmm. I think a sand rush could go awesome here. Do we go for that? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get rolling here. Actually, nah, 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 nah. I want to go for this quiver dance. I really want to try to show off this quiver dance. So I'm going to go here, here, here. And I'm going to skull peed again. I'm going to go skull peed one more time. This this squad right here. And then maybe I'll show off the, uh, the sand stream part of the team in the next battle. But yeah, I really want to try to get this quiver dance rolling and dominate from there. Because I feel like we can do this against this team. Because it doesn't seem like he has too many moves. I could just double up. We might have icy wind, which could be pretty scary for us. But... We chilling here. We chilling. That first battle, we played perfectly. We played that one so well. Like, this dude had a sword dance plus two my shell, and we were able to counter up and do some work on it. But he's gonna go Lapras here into Urshifu. Okay. Lapras and Urshifu. I'm totally cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. I'm definitely gonna go into a nice big uh, quiver dance. 
boost my stats up, and then I'm gonna go for follow me. I'm gonna go for follow me, try to set this up. Let's get rolling. Hey, 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 roll, rolling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, um, hmm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, he's definitely got a Dynamax, and he's gonna drop a Resonance. And he is definitely going to drop a Resonance. What do you want, fool? Setting up your screens? I gotta get my screens out after this, but if I just keep following me, I can potentially set up and do a lot of work. But I gotta watch out for that weakness policy. I'm kind of scared of it. He's definitely rocking out with the weakness policy. Well, I can check after this. If it's not light clade, and if the turns aren't uh, at 8, then he's definitely a weakness policy. But follow me coming out here. Come here. Come here, boy. Follow here. Volcarona is still out speeds. That's beautiful. But I'm going to get this special defense and special attack boost. Let's get it. We dancing. We doing those quiver dances, baby. Yeah, and everything. We boosting everything. Urshfu's going to go for Surgeon Strikes. They're going to come over to my Tokus. And I think Tokus eats up pretty well here. Should be able to eat this up, right? Yeah. Thank you, Tokus. You got a crit. Oh, no. I was going to say everything's a crit. <laughs> You're going to be like, what you mean you're getting crits? But, yeah, every time he hits, it's a crit. He hits three times. And then uh, Resonance is going to come out. All right. So, boop, 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 boop. He's going to drop that on us. And down goes Tokus. So, I'm going to pop out here. Um, I know Volcarona outspeed, so I think I'm going to set up screens real quick and take out the Urshifu in one shot. I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. Maybe set that Grassy Terrain. Grassy Terrain could be good. Could be lovely. But I got to definitely set up that light screen. Let's get out this boy. And I got to check out if, uh, if, uh, this thing is going to be the light clay to weakness policy. So, let's go into our info. Let's check out how much turns is in the Aurora Veil. Five. Okay, so this thing is definitely weakness policy. Definitely weak policy. I'm gonna pop off. I'm gonna go into an overgrowth. And I'm gonna take out the Urshifu. And I'm going to definitely 100% set up a light screen here. I'm gonna get this light screen rolling just for that, uh, the resonance gonna come over on my Volcarona side. Bam, 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 it. Hey, hey, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm definitely thinking my Volcarona eats up a turn. Eats up uh, a shot from this, uh, Lapras. With its plus one special defense and its, uh, and this light screen coming out here. And I think he definitely takes out this, uh, this Earth Fruit, just one shot. Volcarona is so cool. He's a giant. Is he even a butterfly? Like, what is he? What kind of bug is this? In? It looks phenomenal, though. Like, half butterfly, half cocoon kind of thing. I don't even know. Like, a caterpillar, cocoon, and butterfly all mixed in one. Just looking amazing. But we got the speed advantage. Overgrowth coming out here. Yoy! Send it, baby. He should be dead here. Earth Fruit should be gone here. Get it out of here. Get gone, Earth Fruit. Get gone. And now we got this grassy terrain for that 1.3 times on my next max overgrowth. But I'm going to paralyze. I'm going to start paralyzing some Pokemon after this, I think. Unless he comes out with a big physical attacker, which is posing a huge threat. Then I'll set up to reflect. But I just think this team works out so well. I'm going to go for a geyser. Ooh, no, not the geyser. Not the geyser. Volcarona, eat this up. Oh, no, he goes after you. Oh, my God. Yo. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is that super effective to Volcarona? I'm kind of curious. I think I guard here. I think I guard and then take out the Lapras in one shot next turn. I think that is definitely the play. Let this Lapras maybe go for something. Hmm. He can go after... Okay, now now we're seeing this thing. Okay, yeah. I think I definitely guard here because he might double up into me. Into my Volcarona. So, let's go for that guard. And then I'm going to... Do I, I'm going to set up this Reflect. I'm going to definitely set up this Reflect because the war is going to hit with big physical damage. So, Reflect coming out here and then I can Paralyze next turn if I really want to. But let's just slow this pace. Let's slow this pace down. We still got Skullpeed in the back end. And who else do we have in the back end? Just Skullpeed because our tokens did go down. Oh, yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. Let's do this one for the online gaming community, people. Yo, thank you guys so much for the support that has been going on out on these videos. I really appreciate all you guys. I'm glad you guys do enjoy these videos. Me being all wacky and everything. And just playing. Having some fun. Seriously, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys seriously are the best. But he goes for Plasma Fist. Bang, into my Volcarona, and I think he's going to double up into it, right? Max Geyser, bang, into my Volcarona. So, beautiful Max Guard play by me. That's awesome. I'm back to full health for Storm with that, uh, with that, uh, Max Overgrowth, or Grassy Terrain, whatever you want to call it. But we're sitting great here. We got double screens up probably for the rest of this uh, game, and I'm going to go into an Overgrowth here and potentially take out the Slapras, and I'm just going to Spirit Break over on you. I'm just going to Spirit Breaker on you because I cannot paralyze him with the T-Wave. Let's see what happens here. Overgrowth coming out. We could potentially take out one shot. Plus one. Gracie Surge going in here. This thing's bulky though. Let's see. Oh my god. Volcarona. Knock it off, man. <laughs> Volcarona wipes that thing out. I've been having a blast doing these casual battles. 
But I'm ha I'm happy that the what's called is coming out soon. Oh, we got flame body. We give him the burn. That is huge. We give him the burn. But I'm happy that rank comes out tomorrow by the time I'm recording this. But when this video goes live, rank will be live. So I will probably be streaming. By the time this video goes live, check your streams, all that good stuff. Because I'll probably be streaming pushing the rank ladder with brand new Pokemon and brand new uh, teams. Which is going to be awesome trying to get that Master Ball here. But yeah, the casual and new Pokemon has just been like a kind of like a relaxing thing for me. It's been a relaxing thing because I've just been getting, I wouldn't say drained of Pokemon. But it's just been a while since something new and fresh came out. So this makes it feel like a whole new game. And I feel just like replenished and playing this game. Let me know if you guys feel the same way. If you guys feel like uh, just the same old meta with all the new Pokemon was getting kind of old. And now all these new Pokemon is just feeling good and making the game feel a lot better. But we're sitting here. We have all stab moves now. Pokemon should be maybe one of the fastest. I'm going to take out you. And I'm just going to go into Spirit Break. Let's get it, yo. Like I said, I want to show off this Volcarona in this battle. And that is exactly what we're doing. He goes first. Bug Buzz should be able to just one, ca one hit KO this thing. You See you later. See you later. Volcarona with that Life Orb, dude. And Quiver Dance is so good. I feel like Quiver Dance is one of the best setup moves in the game. Dragon Bolt goes for Phantom Force. Yo, you wasting turns, dog. You wasting turns. Did he even Dynamax? Oh, yeah, he did. He Dynamax the Lapras. Mm-hmm. -hmm. What you want, fool? What you want, fool? Yeah. Okay, since I know that what's called is going to... uh. Wait, who goes first? Well, Volcarona will go first. I'm just going to Quiver Dance. I'm just going to Quiver Dance and then just go into the Spirit Breaker on you. Like, yeah, that's just uh, my best play. Quiver Dance comes out. See, because if I would have swung, I would have missed anyway. So I might as well start boosting my stats. <laughs> Get my speed, my special attack, and special defense going up. He's going to go into a fan of Force. Over on Volcarona. Can you eat, buddy? You do. Oh, my God. I love you. I love you, Volcarona. Spirit Break comes out. This might be able to finish it off. Does it? Nope, does not. Doesn't hit hard enough. The rain does stop, and that's going to be game. Your boy coming in clutch, Volcarona slapping up in battle number two, Sculpey slapping up in battle number one. So I'm doing exactly what I wanted in the video so far, showing off that Volcarona, showing off that Sculpey. Now we got one more left. You guys already know, we're going to try to show off that Sandstream part of this team in the next battle. Let's get it. Let's get it. What you want? And I'm just going to go for I'm gonna go for a Bug Buzz, even though everything's not very effective. Dragon Ball kind of like rips up on this end, but we're chilling. Bug Buzz will definitely be able to take out with plus two. And stab life orb. Yay! Bug Buzz. Dude, I don't know. I always love bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are so cool. With Volcarona, Butterfree, Beedrill. They're just like the coolest Pokemon. They really are. But yo, 2-0 with this team. I've been rocking out on the casual ladder and in recordings. It's been so much fun. And we've been playing so well. We got a Volcarona mirror matchup for this third and final battle. I think I'm going to go into Sand Slash and Toad Kiss here. And try to set up that sword stance and then eventually get my boy and T Tar set the sand stream and get that speed rolling. So I think that's the play. I think that is the play. Let's go Toga Kiss into Sand Slash, bring T Tar into back end, and then it's either gonna be Screen Mon or Skull Beat. Who's faster? Skull Peed? I think Skull Peed outspeeds my Volcarona all day. 180, let's see. 180, 167. Yeah, dude, definitely uh, Skull Peed. How fast is uh, Sand Slash? 117, okay, so double that in the sand. Oh, he's shiny too, yo. What's up with all these cool shiny Pokemon? They're looking amazing, yo. Sculpey definitely looks the best. Check him out. Bruh, looking so good. Look at that thing. It looks amazing. And Volcarona, is Volcarona shiny as well? Oh my god, he's looking all amazing. But yeah, we're gonna go Sculpey in the final spot here. I think this should work out pretty, pretty well. It's Lightning Rod, gotta watch out for that. But still, we got that ground moves. We're gonna be able to rock out here. Let's get rolling, let's get rolling. He has a uh, Drizzle for uh, maybe Rain Dish. For that blast move? Not too sure. It could be Shell Smash, but gotta watch for it. Gotta watch for it. So I'm planning on going into some follow me's, setting up the swords dances till uh I guess Tokus rolls out and then Dynamaxing and getting the Sandstream rolling and going from there. And going from there. Let's see if we can show this off in the final battle. It goes Volcarona and Poltsky. Volcarona and Poltsky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's get it. We go Togi Bogey and Sand Slash. Okay. Beautiful, yo. Sand Slash is so cool. He's so cool. I feel like he's such an underrated Pokemon. But definitely follow me. Get over here, boys. Get over here. And then definitely a sword stance. A lovely little sword stance coming out here. I wish he was ground and stone. I, I hate how he's just uh, ground typing. I think he should be ground and rock. I really do. Because he has rocks all on his back. Like, what you mean? I get like he burrows into the ground and all that, but still. Hopefully this Volcarona is not setting up a quiver dance. That could be a little scary. Phantom Force coming out. Okay. I'm down with it. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. He's going to go for a quiver dance. Okay. See, he's definitely going to outspeed me now, but so now is the time to actually drop a rock on that thing. 
Like, now's the time. Now is 100% the time. We're gonna Dynamax and, and drop a rock on that thing. And set the Sandstorm on my own. On my own. We're going for it. So definitely follow me again. And I have to drop a rock on that thing, right? Because he's starting to boost speed, special defense, and all that good stuff. He's got to get out of here. I'll set the Sandstorm on my own. A little change of plans here. I could have just swapped and then rolled with that. But I think follow me is the best play. I think follow me is definitely the best play. I don't want this thing set up anymore. So I'm going to just drop a rock on it and cancel it out here as we are plus two. Then I can get the Sandstorm on and just take speed advantage from there. Get it, Sand Slash. Get it, big dog. Boost your HP. Oh, this thing doesn't have Dynamax candies. No! No! Oh, no! Because his HP should have doubled to, like, 300. So it doesn't have Dynamax candies. It's all good. We still going for this. We still going for this. We eat that up. He might be going for, like, a, uh, a Heat Wave or something. What's he going for? A Giga Drain. Okay. He's trying to go after my Sand Slash. I'll eat that up all day. And Volcarona should go down here. Vulcan Runner should 100% be going down here. Yes, sir. So we made the right call by Dynamax in this thing and getting rolling. But I wish it did have Dynamax candies, but I still think we're going to perform pretty well with this. I still think we're going to perform pretty well with this. We get that super effective damage out here. Sand Swim's coming out here. Sand Rush is popping out. We doubling our speed, and we're plus two on attack from that Sword Sands. And we get off another Follow Me, which is going to be amazing. So all I got to do is kind of just protect the Sand Slash and roll from there. Then I got my boy Skull Pete in the back. Hey, 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 jeans, jeans, jeans. <laughs> oh my lord, dude. Skull Pete's been a blast. The uh, Blastoids getting popping here. Blastoids. Blastoids. Okay. Uh, another follow me. And then I'm going to go into a Quake. I'm definitely going to a Quake here. Onto the Blastoids. Yeah, I'm definitely. I got to get out first Blastoids. For the sole purpose of... Actually, this sandstorm might work out. Because if he goes for a geyser and changes the weather, then I can just get my T-Tar back out here and change up that weather again. But I'm going for this Quake over on the Blastoids because I want to get out the way. It's super effective to my Sand Slash. And we get that special defense boost. And it's stat as well. So he's going to Dynamax that Blastoids. That's probably what he's doing. If I had to guess. If I had to guess. And we're going to be able to outspeed. And it's G-Max, baby. It's G-Max. It is G-Max. I'm hoping the Pult does not take out my what's it called in one shot. I'm hoping the Pult doesn't take out my Tokus in one shot. Because then I can get that uh, G Max Canyon Aid over on my side. Over on the Tokus side. But here we go. Getting that special defense boost. Let's get it. Yeet. Get him. How much damage are you doing? Oh, that's a good amount of damage, baby. That's a good amount of damage. That's a really good amount of damage. And my school P definitely outspeeds that blast, so it's too. Good amount of damage from my boy. Phantom Force comes out. Okay, so, dude, we are chilling perfect here. We got this one looking good. We're looking so good now. We went for that Phantom Force. Canyon Aid's going to come out here. Toke is going to go down. I'm so fine with it. I'm so fine with it. Toke goes down. Vortexes are hitting up. I'm going to go into another Max Quake over onto that Blast Sweet side, and then my T-Tar is going to come out and get after that uh, Dragapult side. Oh, my God. Yeah, yo, we looking good, good. We looking good, good. But I think that's the only downside to having uh, Blastoids. To having a uh, not Blastoids, G Max Blastoids, is he cannot set the rain. Usually they only roll one water move, which will be uh, Geyser. I'm gonna get you out here. Just so you're slower. And you're gonna thrive inside the sandstorm. But I need I need I need something slower than this dragon. Pole. And if it's a, uh, and if that dragon pole was a little too slow, then uh we would have been suffering with the skull beat. So we're just gonna go here and then drop another X Quake. Which I think he's going to max guard for sure, but I have to drop it this way. Because if I drop it towards Dragapult side, it's just guaranteed miss. Oh my lord, yo. Let's get it going. Get it going. And he does not, yo. Max Quake going to come in here, pick up that KO on that G-Max Blastoids. And then I feel like what's called eats up this uh, Phantasm and takes out the Dragapult in one shot with the Stab Crunch. Super effective. Oh my lord, yo. Your boy is on with this team. This team is amazing. Yo, Randy. I'm loving this team. All you gotta do is give Dynamax candies to this, uh, to this Sand Slash. I feel like that's the only thing you, you miss. But Phantom Force coming out here. Yeet. That's tasty, baby. Such a good snack. Such a good snack. Crunch is coming out here. We're gonna pick this one up, too. We're gonna pick up this one. Nom, nom, nom. Yes, sir, yo. Yes, sir. We running this thing. We dominating today. We dominating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, bam, 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 bam. Easy. 
Easy, oh, it's too easy. It's too easy. Three, oh, is that three videos in a row we went three now? I think we did it with the Thrakion and the team before that. I think we did it. I think this is like three videos in a row where we have just been dominating. But like, bro, yo, we've been crushing it. We've been crushing it. For real. I know some people think that since I do little transitions that I don't show all three matches, but I really do. I genuinely do. I do the transition to save the time in between so the video don't get like an extra six minutes of me just sitting there and waiting for a match. That's honestly the real reason why I do that. But we can go into a crunch and then, uh, EQ? No, EQ would just dump on the thing. I'm just gonna go into a Stone Edge here. A nice little Stone Edge here. Stone Edge. Yay! The Shikao, right? Nope, it does not. No stab damage, that's why. And what is he triggering? His red card. No! Don't take out my Sand Slash. You gonna bring out Big Dog? You gonna bring out Big Dog over here? Big mistake. Big mistake, dude. Big mistake. He goes for Hydra Pump. And he misses! <laughs> He misses, Crunch comes out, GG, 3-0, and oh, man, 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 we just whooped, we whooped in today, today's video, that was for the Jeans online gaming community, baby, <laughs> we've just been on dominating these casual battles lately, I'm so happy with this recording day, we got to show up everything I wanted, the first battle, we got to show up that Sculpey, second battle, we got to show up Volcarona, and third battle, we got to show off that T-Tar and Sand Slash combo. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. One last shout out to my boy Randy for making this team. Absolutely love it. Seriously, an amazing team right here. I cannot wait to probably use it on the rank ladder come tomorrow when this video goes live. July 1st. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.